Okay, so on the weekend I came down with a horrible cold that one of my friends gave me. Thanks for that. So basically for the last few days I've been living off of soup, tissues, and lots and lots of tea. Which is swell. And I've been doing all the usual things that you're supposed to do when you're sick that are, you know, supposed to make you feel better. Lots of rest, check. Lots of water, check. Chicken soup, check. But unfortunately, I still feel like crap. So in my hour of need, I turn to trusty old Google in an attempt to find some surefire cures for the common cold. And I found some pretty strange ones that I don't think I'll try out, but I thought I might share them with you guys because that's what I do. The first thing I found was a drink called Gogol Mogul, or I don't know, Gogol Mogul, <laughs> I have no idea. And it originates from Russia and the Ukraine. But basically, it's a hot drink that is the result of whisking together an egg yolk with a teaspoon of honey or sugar, which actually doesn't sound too bad, and then you pour your little concoction into half a cup of milk that has been heated with a tablespoon of unsalted butter, which sounds a little less appetizing. And then it says the adult version of this remedy resembles eggnog. Just add a slug of rum or cognac. I don't know what that is. So I might actually have to try that out. Another one I found, which seems pretty simple, is put on some socks. Check! <laughs> but then in the description it says that you should soak your feet in hot water and then put on a pair of thin socks that have been soaked in cold water and wrung out. Which sounds horrible. Have you ever stepped on, like, water when you're wearing socks? It makes me want to cut off my foot sometimes. Hashtag first world problems. And then the next step is place a dry pair of socks over that and take to your bed. <laughs> So I might give that one a miss, I might just keep my socks dry. <laughs> then the next one, which is a good follow-up, is pick up your dirty socks. Ooh, I just read what it is. And it's basically placing dirty socks around your throat. That sounds... no. <laughs> Greasing the throat first with chicken fat or lard was part of this folk cure. I might give this one a miss as well. How do people come up with this stuff? This one's gross as well. The next one I found is lizard soup, which is pretty much exactly how it sounds. I think I'll just stick to my chicken soup, thanks. I found some more on a different website, and the first one, <laughs> the first one that pops up just says frog skin. According to research, apparently, frog and toad skin can treat more than 70 diseases. I still don't want it. Next up on this website is cow poo. Yeah. Ooh, apparently it's made into tea. Ooh, apparently people's grandmas and aunts made tea from cow poo and gave it to them. No, bad grandma. I found an article and if you ever run out of Vicks or anything, you can just rub goose grease on yourself. And it works the same way, apparently. Ugh. I like this one, but it's only got two and a half stars, so I'm guessing it doesn't work very well. But it's, have some chocolate. <laughs> Which I can definitely do. Oh my god, those look like testicles. Umeboshi from Japan is apparently a good cold remedy. And apparently it's a super salty pickled plum, but it kind of looks like a bowl full of testicles. I don't know, you be the judge. Would you eat that? So yeah, I think I might just stick to my tea and soup and tissues. I don't think I'm gonna try any of those things. So what do you guys do when you're sick? Post down in the comments below your remedies that you think work. <laughs> on another note, I'm not going to be here next week because I'm going to be in Texas, which is really exciting. And I'm going to be in Texas for a little thing called RTX. And if you don't know what RTX is, it's basically a convention hosted by Rooster Teeth. And if you don't know what Rooster Teeth is, then get with it. And it's basically, basically like a lot of internet culture and gaming and all the stuff that I love, so I'm really excited. <laughs> but while I'm there, I'm gonna hopefully be doing a lot of filming of like vlogging and stuff and meeting up with some people. And hopefully my internet connection will be good enough in my hotel that I'll be able to upload at least one or two videos next week. And if you want to follow me on my lovely Texas adventure, then you can follow me on Twitter, which I will post a link in the description. I usually just tweet about what I'm eating or something that I thought was funny at the time. So I will see you next week, hopefully at some point, when I'm in Texas. I'm so excited. <laughs> so until we meet again, my lovely internet friends, bye! <laughs>